Good morning, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for my morning coffee. Uh, what I'm thinking about this morning is how weird it feels to actually hit send on an email to your email list. Now, <laughs> if you're just starting out as an entrepreneur, um, you might think, well, that sounds weird. Like, why would she build an email list if she's not gonna email people? But this is something that a lot of us struggle with. I've talked to other entrepreneurs, I've read blog posts about it, and I have been building my email list for probably four years, not what I would say actively, very passively building it. And I shared with you guys a couple of weeks ago that I deleted like three quarters of my list because they, they weren't opening my emails. What I was excited about is that I had like 350 people left and, um, I had started, the reason I know they weren't opening my emails is I had actually started using my email list to send a message once a week back in the second week of January. And I'm really proud of myself because I have not missed a week. And the reason I'm really proud of myself is it's hard. Like it feels really like you're exposing yourself when you hit send on an email. Um, and here's why, because people unsubscribe and it's always like, oh, uh, you know, I hate it when people unsubscribe, but then I want them to if it's not the content they want. When it's someone I don't know, it doesn't feel good, but it doesn't bother me as much as it does when it's someone I know, you know, maybe a friend or uh, someone who I worked with when I was in corporate, but that happens. And then I just have to remind myself that, you know what, it just wasn't the content for them. It's not me, it's nothing personal, it's just not what they're interested in right now. So um, what happens when I hit send on that darn email every week, I am like a crazy person looking at my stats, right? So like, seriously, I just hit send about 30 minutes ago and I've gone out into ConvertKit, which is the email system that I use. And I'm like, probably five times look to see, has anybody unsubscribed? How many people have opened the email? How many people have clicked on the links? And I've been tracking that since I started being really consistent in January. And a couple of reasons, it is a, a little bit of curiosity, but it's also like really trying to figure out what works, what content are people most interested in, um, what's getting the most interaction, because the whole purpose of sending the email is to add value, you know, to give people something that's going to help them rise in their careers. That is the focus of the content that I send out on my, on my email list. So um, I really focused for the last couple of years on growing my email list, but I did not want to hit send. It, it, I would send a couple of emails, um, and I'd love to tell you that it's, oh, it's so easy now. It's not, it's easier, I have to say, it is easier. And I'm, I like, I'm hoping that over the next year or so that it won't feel so weird to hit send every week. I think something that really helps is when I get a comment back and someone says, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I needed. Or I'll, I'll talk with people um, and they'll say, I really love your emails. So then that is like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something that they actually want in their inbox. And I think that is really the thing to remember is that people signed up for your list. Now, it, it might be because you offered a freebie or you ran a contest or you asked people to sign up. Still, they signed up and they're staying on there for a reason. So, you know, grow that email list. Um, I think you ought to delete this cold subscribers over, over time, so any email uh, list um, service that you use is gonna have an option where you can look and say, hey, you know, who hasn't opened my emails? And get rid of those guys. Um, they're, they're not opening your emails. They're, well, for whatever reason, the content isn't registering with them. That's okay. Um, you don't wanna bother them. And then it actually does feel better when you hit send because you know you're not hitting someone's inbox who's just not interested. Uh, funny thing about that is when I did my post, I, I post these videos both on YouTube and on LinkedIn, and I had someone reshare the, the video about deleting email subscribers, and I was all excited until I hit the, <laughs> the reshare button, and they used me as a bad example. So they think that's a terrible thing to do. Um, I have to say I feel way, way better about sending out my emails to folks who are actually opening them. So uh, yes, it's important to grow your email list, but doggone it, if you've got one, even if it's just five people on that list, send them an email every week. They signed up because they wanna hear from you. Have a great day, guys. I will see you tomorrow.